Good afternoon, this is Chris Brecher with the Simpler Stocks free video for April 22nd, 2016. It's about 2.54, about an hour before the bell. Wanted to get out, uh, this out early. Basically what we're seeing today, just so you know, is you have the, uh, the ES is acting much worse than the NQs, which is sort of what we had talked about yesterday, that the NQs have been drastically underperforming. We have the Russell slowly weakening as the day goes by. We still have the bonds down 23. Um, and we have gold down 350. You have uh, the dollar having a surprising rally after being really down in the dumps today and that coming roaring back after uh, Draghi talked to the ECB. You have the transports down 104. Let me show you a couple of things going on here that I find interesting. One, this is the type of chart setup I have on my bottom left screen. So I show the five minute ESs, five minute NQs, five minute TFs. You can see on this, the ES, uh, the NQs are trying to form a little bear flag. You had a bear flag in the TS that broke down. You have the volatility won't really move and you have the advanced decline only down 70, 88 with the ES is down 13. So not really, a, it's sort of a muted move so far. This is what I want you to see under the surface. This is what I showed yesterday. Look at the NQs on the, on the middle. Look at the ESs on the left, TFs on the right. Notice how the NQs are almost at this red 200 SMA right here. Notice that the TFs are way above it. Well, not way above, let's say 11 points. This is the big one. Notice that the ESs are 18 points in that moving average. Whole key on this, is these are all interrelated. If this breaks right here, then this is gonna break down and probably go to 2065. That's what I'm looking for in there. Another thing I find really interesting that I don't think a lot of people are noticing in this market is right now we're getting a shift from the defensive stocks into the more speculative stocks. That's usually a sign of a top, not a bottom. Now, what you see on here is you have the ES is just grinding up, grinding up, right with a doji yesterday, right at resistance. The reason I'm even bringing this up is usually when you get to this side, uh, this kind of level, you start to get the speculative excesses. What do I mean? Like some of these resource stocks. Look at tech resources. Stock's gone now in, in a month from four in February to 11. I mean, just unbelievable, huge rallies in these stocks. You're watching the IBB try to break out today, trying to have this rounding bottom in here and break out, even though on a weekly, it's not the uh, the best thing since sliced bread. There's a weekly for you overbought, as you see in here. The problem is when you get the speculative excesses, hedge funds have to take money out of somewhere. Notice what's going on in the surface here, under the surface, fascinating stuff. First thing I want you to realize, I mentioned it yesterday, look at the grains starting to rally in here. They've had uh, somewhat of a sell-off, you know, now a little bit of a reversal just today, but they've had a big old move. What does that mean? That means that people start to get scared when you see the commodities start to rally, whether it's gold, whether it's uh, corn, whether it's wheat, gets people nervous of whether the Fed is going to tighten sooner than later. As you see, the bond market the last couple of days has been spooked on that. Why am I showing that? When we talk about this rotation, one thing that has been a beneficiary of low interest rates has been the REITs, the Real Estate Investment Trust. Check out what PSA has done the last week. Unbelievable, I didn't realize they had acted this bad. Let's put them on both charts so you can get a more dramatic perspective in here. PSA, look at this on a 78 minute. Wow, 277 to 255. Here's another one for you, Simon Property Group. Prices is secondary early this week and just stuffs it down everybody's throat, six points higher. Here's another one for you. Um, just one after another, uh, Next Year Energy. Really pretty much a stable kind of stock. Look how this has gone down five points this week. What is this? Number one, it's a rotation away from interest rate sensitive stocks. Number two, we're getting a push away from uh, the defensive stocks. What I mean by that is look at Clorox in here. Check that out. You don't usually see those type of moves in Clorox. Look in here at uh, General Mills. Huge sell-offs. You would have thought our market's gone down about 10%. Look at Hormel. 
down seven dollars cb one after another in here chubb look at this one this is in the insurance look at procter and gamble all i i'm showing in here and here's another one uh, uh mccormick spices 100 down to 91. now what you realize you might say oh maybe this is earnings related believe it or not the earnings came out the stock went up on that this is afterwards this is a rotation <coughs> away from so-called safe stocks and people finally think it's safe to speculate in some of the smaller stocks the resource stocks and some of these spectacular movers you want to know where speculation this is the three times bullish etf for uh for gold the, uh, these have gone from 50 to 87 unbelievable that's what i mean about a rotation out of the uh, so-called safe stocks into some of the more speculative areas um, you could see in the resource stocks, look at Joy Global. This stock has gone from 12 in February to 20. Unbelievable rallies, and this is the rotation we're seeing now. What do I think is going to happen now? Usually when you see this type of rotation, this is a sign of a top. Where do I think the ESs could go in here? Number one, like I showed you, first stop is this area, 2065 if the nasdaq breaks that's number one number two is we really don't have any sell-off yet on a daily as you see on here it's above every moving average the first shot across the bow that the bears are going to grab a hold of is if this can sell off in here under its moving averages like you see it can happen quick put back up clorox up here and notice how this uh this rallied up here and then right here broke the atr trailing stop came up to try to test it and then fell apart why am i showing that because the spx is it might be a process it might take this kind of move where you get some futzing around in this area a move under the atr trailing stop and then a month of working off the oversold condition so it might take a while to happen or it could look like something like this psa new high for the year back here and then just fell apart Usually what I've seen is you get a rally like this, you get a sell-off, you get a weak rally, and at least then you can draw lines like points of reference. So then you have a sort of measuring implication. That's the kind of thing I think you're going to see. So first thing is tonight, Google's earnings. Google is right stuck in a range right in this area around 780. Last earnings had a little spike around 810. So if Google sells off, it's going to pull down the NQs, which is going to pull down the ESs. Microsoft earnings tonight, not as big a deal in my, my book. Stocks had a nice rally in here. Put it on a weekly and a daily, and you'll see it's right at resistance. Absolutely at resistance. But I'm very curious to see how Google handles this, because next week you have the Facebooks, the Amazons, the Apples. So the first one to really react to news today is going to be Google. Very curious to watch how that works. Like everybody knows, we have a $7 trial for 30 days. Just so you know what that includes, it includes the chat room where I talk live from 9 to 10 every morning Eastern. We have our premium videos, like the videos you do at night, but just a little more specific. We have our chart ideas. We have our forum, which is very active. And we have a meetup. Last night, I talked for an hour about three different ways to trade a, uh, a move in a stock, and we were highlighting Tesla. All those, after we do them, go into the Learning Center, into the video series in here. The one from last night hasn't been rendered yet. All of these come with your subscription. They're all free. Just come with your subscription. So I hope you get a chance to check out our site. Hope you get a chance to try out our subscription. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video. I will talk to you tomorrow.